Kaholoyim Yahwa, Bashem Yahusha, Brakti Yahwa, Brakti Yahusha, Brakti Yahwa, Brakti Yahusha, Brakti Yahwa, Brakti Yahusha. Double on the city apostles and others of great millstone who rule well over the flock. Shalom, I'm a salutation, you brothers out here, push the words of truth and sincerity. Shalom, low well in this video is edifying, straight to the point. And um, the name of this video is called, And Now the Confusion Starts. Let's check it out. We got a Jake here from Saints of the Beloved. Um, first time I ever seen this Jake and his video is called IUIC and GMS. I wasn't looking or I was just skimming through uh, I typed in uh, market of MOTB and GMS and this video popped up. It was done yesterday. It says IUIC and GMS teach you can take the MOTB and still be saved through their favorite doctrine. LOL. And he going to go into what that mean. Um, drop, drop, drop the number of uh, precepts that he put in. Into the comment boy, chop the number of precepts, how edified you were through the precepts he brings out. Okay. <clears throat> shalom, 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 I want to give all praise to Abinaw Yahweh, Bashem, Mashak Yahushai. Peace and blessings to our beloveds, man, baptized in the New Testament for the remission of sins, man. Uh, and uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, man. All the beloved prisoners of hope, man. <clears throat> so today, man, I also want to say uh, double honors to all the righteous elders in the nation of Israel. And uh, basically, I want to respond to uh, a couple of videos I've been seeing from uh, GMS, man. Which uh, basically, man. I see they got a video out called um, <clears throat> IUIC says you can take the MOTB and uh, still be saved, right? Which um, I don't even know why they doing why why are y'all even rebuking IUIC about that when according to y'all doctrine y'all make it. See the confusion going on in Israel. This is the confusion going on in Israel, man. They're over here doing videos on IUIC. Because IUIC said you can take the uh, the MOTB, right, and <laughs> and get saved. <clears throat> but according to GMS, y'all doctrine is the same thing. Y'all teach that uh, that uh, no matter what, you gonna come get the kingdom according to reincarnation, man. So according to y'all doctrine, you can take the mark of the beast, right, and you still will be saved according to reincarnation, man. So either way it goes, you're still getting saved, according to your doctrine, man. So <laughs> that's the uh, everybody get the kingdom doctrine, man. So we call it the everybody get the kingdom doctrine. All right. Let's get into, really quickly, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And will set them in their own land, and strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. The reason why we was made to serve this hard bondage because we was in uh, in being c slavery and captivity, which hard bondage is, is because we uh, we sinned against our power, right? And so, as a uh, grace and as mercy, better yet, mercy, which is mercy, will be giving you uh, gifts, uh, pleasures, or promises for something that you didn't even deserve, right? And so the mercy here is that we'll be taken out of captivity and brought into uh, rulership, which is all comes culminates to rulership at the end of the day. Nations and rulership, kingdoms and kingdoms, and eventually everlasting kingdom under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But the tribe or the nation that will receive everlasting rulership, which everlasting life, everlasting rulership, um, eternal life is going to be the nation of Israel whose name was changed from Jacob 
So the everlasting, I mean, uh, ultimate, what did he just say? The everybody be saved doctrine out of the nation of Israel is verified, right? Through the scriptures. All right. Now he's making a lot of claims, but somebody hasn't brought out any scriptures. Now, when I, if you go into salvation, one thing you're going to realize is there's a lot, very lot. There's a lot of definitions, man. There's a lot of definitions of salvation. You know, you take a second to go into salvation scriptures, you'll 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 realize that that second turns into minutes, minutes turns into hours, hours turns into days, days turns into weeks, months, years, decades. Because the scriptures say a lot about salvation. All right. Now, the scriptures also tell you about um. Other nations, the scriptures tell you, let's get this real quick. Matthew 13 and 16. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. One thing we know is that everybody's not going to understand what these scriptures are talking about. The reason why he's so confused is not because the Most High is dealing with him and that we are the confused, you know, all the confusion is coming from Hebrew Israelites. Right? And we always say there's a lot of edification that comes out of uh, a lot of these camps. But when it comes to the mark of the beast, when it comes to 100% truth, when it comes to grinding and pushing this word out, that's great millstone that takes the forefront of that. That's our apostles and elders who are still out there on them streets. Show me all, show me these camps and then show me the apostles or their elders out there on them highways and hedges, right? I see that as a sign of sincerity. I see that as a sign of longevity or aka um, perseverance in this truth. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see these those things which ye see, and have not seen them. So you have prophets and righteous men have desired to see these things. Why? Because in the ancient world, certain things weren't revealed to them. Righteous men, right? Some of the visions and the prophecies that John would see, or, or, or Isaiah, or Amos would see, they didn't fully understand. That's for our time now. That's why we have these scriptures. But there's a lot of men who still can hear what we hear and don't understand it. Like this guy here. He's confused. He's confused about how long his hair should be, even though Paul spoke specifically about having long hair. All right. He's, he's confused as far as what um uh, uh what what kind of hair uh, Nazarites did have. They had braids. When it says locks, that's not talking about dreadlocks. It's talking about braids when you go into the interlinear. He's confused about that. You know, and obviously he's confused about which one is the right doctrine. He speaks, he starts out speaking as if he's part of the uh, hopeful elect of, of GMS. We start our videos using the name of the Lord. We also give double honors to the elders. So you, my friend, are in the land of the lost because you're seed picking. You're going from one camp to the next. And you really don't know who to follow at the end of the day. But it seems like you are trying to align with GMS or and or IULC at the same time. That's where the confusion lies. Now, we do teach that uh, all Israel um, is going to be... We do teach reincarnation. What does that mean? But the difference is here is that you believe that we're teaching that when when we... let me Let me play this guy again, man. I want y'all to hear exactly what I know what I want to say, but I don't know how he said it. Let's let's get it. IUIC says you can take the MOTB and uh, still be saved, right? And that's true. IUIC did say that that you could take the MOTB and still be saved. He said that if the man forces the chip on you, you can still be saved if you repent. Which um, I don't even know why they doing why. But the easy understanding that that's not that's false will be um what it tells you in Revelations 14, the very next chapter, around verse nine. It says, "And the third angel said, uh, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh.' That means you won't be saved. See, deliverance, salvation, one of the uh, essentially." What we're talking about here is salvation from the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Salvation from the wrath of the Heavenly Father. Once again, you, the Lord, throughout the scriptures, there's many forms of salvation. Right? They're saving you from yourself, from your own damned mind state. 
mindset that you right we used to be Gentiles the scripture says in former times that old man well the Lord uh, through um, as you see here reconciling us the Lord allowed us to um, walk by faith now Romans 5 and 10 says for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to you how about the death of his son so that reconciliation means you friends again you in good graces again with the father and it happened by the death of his son. So through Yahweh Shah's death, we did become uh, in good graces again. Um, that was the beginning of salvation. That was the salvation in itself. Uh, Yahweh Shah dying on that cross because it brought the reconciliation back. It says much more being reconciled. So that already lets you know that that job is done. That task has been completed already. Yahweh Shah doing that. It says we shall be saved by his life. So what you understand is there's a mind state that you was saved from but it's like marriage all right in a sense it's like marriage all right marriage begins with it's supposed to begin with a wedding but it's consummated or ends with sex the cutting of the woman you know the hymen if she is a virgin it begins with the ceremony it ends with the, the sex now salvation begins with the lord you know being born again is renewing of your mind, walking in the spirit and not uh, walking according to the lust of the flesh and confessing and believing on the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh But then it, it finalizes with the Lord actually delivering you from many things, including wrath of the Lord. Here it goes right here. Romans 5 and 9, it says, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him what wrath is that if i ask this man what's the wrath how can, the wrath of the judgment of the lord to come if you take the motb is fire once again revelations 14 and 10 the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of yahweh which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, which means that this is when Yahweh shall returns. It's going to be a nuclear holocaust, as well as those beams from the chariots. And it says, and in the presence of the Lamb, and in the presence of Yahweh Shah himself, who is the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment, torment shall ascend up forever and ever, and they shall have no rest day nor night, who's worshipped the beast in the image of his beast, or whosoever received the mark. Of his name. You receive the mark, you get that judgment. Right? But we also read earlier that Jacob shall be delivered. So I ask if the man that takes the MOTB um is not gonna be eventually reincarnated, how is Isaiah 14 and 1 uh come to pass? If the Lord said, the Lord said to himself, You are though the sons of those that killed the prophets. Right? You are them again, right? Reincarnation is out th throughout the scriptures. I think this man actually just has an issue with reincarnation and doesn't understand that part. Because then you got to ask a man, well, why why is an infant die? What did he do? Did he get the chance to uh, uh, believe in the Lord? Why is some, some men born with, uh, why are they crack babies? Why are they certain children born with diseases? Did they sin against their power? And they reincarnate in their past life? Or is this their fresh start? Being def uh, tormented with deformation of the mind and extra chromosomes. Let's go on with that. The, uh, his his reasoning here. I don't, why are you even rebuking IUIC about that? When according to your doctrine, you all make it. See? So make it. Once again, so that goes back to salvation. What are we making it from? All right, we trying to make it on them ships. That's the difference between making it in the kingdom and making it on them ships. Once again, you're going into the wrath of the judgment of the Lord that anyone who takes the mark shall receive without mixture into the cup of his indignation, tormented with fire and brimstone for receiving the mark. We're trying to get out of out of that torment and fire. We're trying to be delivered from the wrath of the Lord, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. See, the kingdom of heaven 
when they come back in the kingdom of heaven as our children, as the elect's children, through reincarnation, they're saved because they don't have to go through slavery anymore. They're saved from uh, sin because they won't, they'll won't. they have the laws on their inward parts again. And we won't have to teach our children what's good and what's bad and what the scriptures say and what not. It'll all be written on our inward parts. They'll be saved from their enemy, our enemies. Luke 1 and 71, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Verse 74, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. So just being a part of the nation of Israel, you automatically are qualified through the mercy of the Lord for a type of salvation. Not from the wrath of the Lord, but from your enemies in the kingdom of heaven. If you're granted permission and access to the kingdom of heaven and you're an Israelite in the kingdom of heaven, you will be a ruler. You will be a king. You will uh, be have the new new covenant written in your inward parts. Once again, our children will not have to be taught the scriptures. That's part of the uh, salvation. Because what does sin lead to? Death. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yehoshua. For he shall save his people from their sins. Sin, sin, the wages of sin is death. And so if he's causing, if, if he's going to, through the new covenant in his blood, allow us to be, um, have access to um, uh, a sinless nature, then we'll receive everlasting life because we won't be able to, we won't be able to die. For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So there is a reward for them that believe there is a reward for them that believe. Right? And there is a situation in which a man who uh, cannot, you know, a man that believes won't see death. Alright? A man that endures to the end won't see death. So we're talking about the death of the wrath of the punishments of third world's war and evading that. Through getting beamed up onto them ships, which if you take the MOTB, you won't have that luxury because Revelation 14 has to come to pass. So it all revolves around Revelation 14. Do you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven through the seed line of an elect after death, after getting destroyed in this fire for taking the MOTB? Or do you want to deny the MOTB through this grace and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua on you to deny it, get delivered, right, changed in the twinkling of an eye, beamed up, and not see death? All right, let me see. Uh, yeah, that's what I was looking for. This is John eight and fifty one. No, I did have it up. John 8 and 51 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh, Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. We're amongst the uh, hopeful believers that we will never see death. If a famine comes, the Lord will sustain us with bread. Miraculously. If the MOTB, when the MOTB comes and when the famine comes and when pestilences come, the Lord will sustain us miraculously. Divine protection. All right. But there's many formations of deliverance, as you can see here. Deliverance from the present evil. Uh, Galatians 1 and 4. Who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world. According to the will of Yahweh and our father. So. That is also um, a part of this, man. Being delivered from this evil world. Being delivered from our enemies, Esau, Edom. Being delivered from your own uh, wicked thoughts and minds, man. Right? Uncleanness. Ezekiel 36 and 29. I will also save you from all your uncleanness. Right? 
deliver you from sin, which we understand that Yahweh Shah, the remission through the remission of blood, that's what he was, a sacrifice for our sin, which leads to everlasting life. But ultimately, like marriage had a beginning, which is the wedding and the end, it consummated with sex. One will can't, you know, the sex consummates that. So salvation, ultimately, the end form will be delivered from the wrath and the judgment that is to come, that second death. Let's go back to his points he's making. Any confusion going on in Israel? This is the confusion going on in Israel, man. And it's confusion because it's these camps that are confused about what the MOTB is. And denying that the MOTB has anything to do with the, you know, the karagma, the kyrix, which is a pale palisade, the karagma, which is a mark, incision, a cut. Ask a Greek man what the word uh, cut is. Let's see if I can get this real quick. Uh, they even have if they even have let's see if I could go back to uh I'm gonna have to do the whole thing let's go like this mark in the Greek right here let's see if mark karagma let's see if I can take that and get see what uh See if I can put it in here like this. Engraving. You see what they got here? Engraving. And what's an engraving? A print made from an engraved plate, block, or other surface. But if you ask a Greek person, right? How to say, um, if you ask them what does karagma mean, go to your, go to your Greek deli. Go to your Greek uh, uh, speaking person around the way in your city. Where they sell heroes, hot gyros, gyros, whatever. And, and ask them, what does karagma mean? Then ask them, what is the root word of karagma karax mean? Because when I asked, last time I asked the person, they went like this with their hands. It's to cut. It's an incision. The confusion, like Jake here, comes from you're baffled because we're doing our jobs. Do you hate us because we tell you the truth? The truth about you. What is your stance on the MOTB? You know, <laughs> what is your stance, man? It all comes down to what you, what you are gonna do, Jake. Because you see, the wrath and the judgment is gonna have to come. You see the wrath. Now, Israel making it in the reincarnation, that's nothing new. Right? That's nothing new. When was Solomon uh, inflicted? Did Yahweh Shah uh, uh, sin? Why did he say, don't call me Don't call me good? It's, there's only one good. It's the Father. What is your understanding uh, as far as why, why Yahweh Shah didn't want to be called good? They're over here doing videos on IUIC because IUIC said you can take the Scripture said rebuke them before all. And that's love, man. There's a thousands of camps out here that's probably uh, teaching that Christianity is the MO, is the uh, MOTB or it's a embargo. We've seen them flip flop a few times on the what, what the uh, MOTB is. And we correct we correct them in, in, in love, man. <laughs> Whether harsh and said. But at the end of the day, you tell us what's the MOTB? Because you're gonna have to come out and, and and speak on it too. Eventually, the MOTB, whether you believe it's not the mark or not, whether you believe it's the C C hip or not, it's coming out. What IUIC stance is now is that whether it is or it ain't, whether we agree the C hip is coming. That's what they saying. But we saying that you could still take the C hip 
and still ask for forgiveness. And all we saying is, well, not according to Revelations, the 14th chapter, you can't. And then, it, and then it continues to say, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh, the faith of Yahweh. Shah. This is a commandment. And the main ones pushing to keep the commandments is I-U-I-C, man. What about the commandment of the, taking the sea hit? Take the, uh, the MOTB, right? And, <laughs> and I think a Jake like this just... Man, you just enjoying it's all fun and games, man, until that see him coming out, man. Every day it's in the news. It's continual. Let's let's get why's the G man? Out of fact. Yeah, man. Nah, let's see uh bio engineering. There's so many different ways in which you could um go with this. So many different names for it. Biotech. Right? You type in bioengineering. You see a whole type of all type of images and articles. Right? Splice gene splicing and superhuman. You type in um cyborg. That's another name for one. Right? Tra trans humanism, which is this is there as the brother uh beautifully put. Um, Elder Yashawamba of Dallas This is their religion This is the new religion here You see that? What's another name? Nanotechnology Singularity Artificial intelligence Future tech Nanotech All leading All culminating to that C hip Remember engraving Does his hand look engraved to you? That would be engraving, taking uh, uh, nanotech technology and merging it, merging with humanity. This is what they believe is the next seed. They believe in evolution. The technology singularity, technological singularity in the transhumanist dream. And all their top conspirators are the ones giving you this information. Guy Yuri. Transhumanism is what they're pushing for. Elon. All right. So what's to be confused is, is because, for one, Jake, once again, Matthew 13 and 16, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them, you won't be able to understand. The scripture said, none of the wicked shall understand. Let's go on. And get saved. But according to GMS, y'all doctrine is the same thing. Y'all teach that, uh, that uh, no matter what, you're going to get the kingdom according to reincarnation, man. So according to y'all doctrine, you can take the mark of the beast. And I proved that through John 14. That Israel's going to come back. The scripture tell you all Israel shall be saved. And all Israel shall be saved, right? So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a simple look up and study of the scriptures that you know that Israel will receive salvation. Isaiah 35 and 4. Say to them that are of a fruit, fearful heart. Be strong, fear not, behold, your power will come with vengeance, even Yahweh with a recompense. He will come and save you. Isaiah 45 and 17, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Zechariah 9 and 6, and the Lord their power shall save them in the, that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land. Romans 11 and 26, I quoted earlier, and so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, they shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. This is some of the promises that come along with being an Israelite that 
because of, you, you are the heirs, you are the prince of the power, you're going to receive salvation in the form, some in the form of uh, reincarnation. Two thirds in the form of reincarnation. The remnant, the elect, in the form of uh, deliverance from the Lord's and wrath and judgment and persecution in that second death. What's so hard to understand about that? Right? And you still will be saved according to reincarnation, man. So either way it goes, you're still getting saved according to your doctrine, man. This dude wants you to take the sea hit, man. I'm catching them vibes from you. Make a video. If you're going to respond and you see this video and you respond, make a video denying that you're going to take the C hip and you what do you believe that the MOTB is and what should people do when the C hip come out so that's the uh, everybody get the kingdom doctrine man right which uh I don't get it man it's kind of confusing to me that uh they even rebuking IUSC about that when all y'all believe that everybody gonna get the kingdom any damn way Right, even uh, the, the people, the, all the Israelites you hate, all the Israelites you look down on, right? Because I know they got the video with Elder Ricard talking about he looked down on brothers uh, that's not a, pretty much GMS or whatever, or you know teaching what GMS teach, or uh, walking how they walk. Uh, so, what's the point of even hating brothers or anything if, according to y'all doctrine, everybody makes it, right? <laughs> So it's confusing. So like uh, they say that uh, all Israel will make the kingdom through reincarnation. So according to y'all doctrine, everybody can take the MOTB and still be saved, man. According to the doctrine, everybody won't take the MOTB because the elect will be delivered from taking the MOTB. And therefore, they'll receive salvation from the wrath of the Lord. We understand that there's a re regeneration. All right. If you don't understand reincarnation, say you don't understand reincarnation. All right. There's many things that GMS and IUIC agree on. Many things. We always speak of them. As a matter of fact, the Apostle Tahar has always spoke pretty high and many times spoke highly of Nate. Especially when telling stories of how Nate used to be back in the day. And how he used to break down the name. and Alright. And then he also speaks to how Nate goes left. He, Apostle Har used to speak on the dream that he had about Nate coming back. And returning back. And being right. And having right, righteous uh, garments on. and You know. But he also, he also warned Nate. That you know. He was misleading people, especially when it pertains to the C hip. And Nate is the leading voice of all Hebrew Israelites saying that the C hip is not the the MOTB. What do you other camps have to say? I believe Sakari does teach that the C hip is the MOTB. All right, I'm not. Does uh, Priest Zabak does not. And so this is this is where the confusion lies. It's not about who's going to be a part of who's the elect. The elect is only the ones that believe and endure to the end and don't receive the MOTB, notably. But yes, in the kingdom, all Israel will be saved. Where else are these children going to come from? What happens to a spirit when it dies? You know, according to the scriptures, that the spirit go upward. Didn't the man that was right on the cross with Yahweh Shah to the right hand for him wasn't he a sinner? But the Lord said, you will be with me in paradise. Don't you know they both ended up in paradise? Because the spirit of, of man goes upward, man. What you didn't know is that even your enemy's spirit go upward, the other nations. That doesn't that doesn't qualify them to be a part of the uh, rulers in the kingdom of heaven. That just means their spirit dwells with the in the spiritual realm of the Lord. Well, we know that's not what Revelation teaches. <laughs> So, it's confusion, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a video out talking about uh, IUIC uh, says you can take the market of beast, oops, sloppy, the MOTB, and uh, still be saved. Which, according to your doctrine, everybody's going to get saved through reincarnation. So, 
you and I, or y'all in, in IUIC, y'all teach the same thing. Guess what? If everybody is saved through reincarnation, that has, that has no, that does not stop the righteous man from reading the scriptures of Revelation 13 and 14 and doing what the Most High asks you to do, which is not to take it or receive it a judgment. Any smart person would want to figure out what the MOTB is so that they don't have to receive the fire and brimstone that comes along with taking the MOTB. And it's almost like you're making light of that situation. If you're really confused, was the was the jolly, happy, happy laughter, comical, folly spirit coming from, man? If you're truly confused about what the MOTB is, you need to pray diligently. and sh You shouldn't even be coming with this spirit of a laughable, comical. You got a laugh emoji with LOL in the title. Your whole spirit vibe is folly, man. At what point in time, when you read about the drinking of the wine of the wrath of the Lord, does that garner a, a, a happy moment for you that you don't understand what it is? And if you do understand, why did you make a video mocking what it could or could not be? That's the spirit. Of a man that has desired to see the things which we see and have not seen them. Same thing. But yeah, y'all want to debate about it. Why? What is the debate? There's no debate. Y'all teaching the same damn thing, man. Y'all y'all both teach that you can be saved regardless through reincarnation. So y'all both teaching that doctrine. That uh uh, you're going to be saved no matter what. So why are y'all even rebuking IUIC when according to your doctrine, everybody gets saved? And We're rebuking the doctrine that the MOTB is, is Christianity. We're rebuking the doctrine that when the seat hit comes out with this whole transhumanism agenda, we're, we're re rebuking the doctrine that you can go ahead and take the seat hit and still be saved from the wrath. Okay? We talking about the wrath, man. Saved from the wrath. You cannot be saved from the wrath of the Lord if you take the sea hip. You have to partake in the wrath of the Lord if you take that in your right hand and your forehead. It's that simple. So according to your doctrine, all the people that take the mark of the beast that are Israelites, they'll be reborn through uh, the brothers that teach on YouTube. <laughs> Loins, okay? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Make a video breaking down Revelation 14. Start with Revelation 13. Break it down. 16 to 18. And then go into Revelation 14, 9 through 11, and break it down, bro. Just break it down, man. All right, so uh, that's just what it is, man. Y'all both teaching that you can take the mark of the beast and be saved. Because y'all teach you can make it through reincarnation. So uh, not taking the mark of the beast, but that's not going to stop you from getting the kingdom. According to y'all doctrine, you still get the kingdom regardless. Right? So, dying, all you got to do is die. Even the righteous die. Even uh, the disciples died. They were martyrs. See? So, the man said, all you got to do is die. John 8, verily, 8 and 51. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. We trying to live, man. We trying to live and never die. Never die again. Is, do, you, do you understand that the scriptures talk about everlasting life? And how you'll literally live forever and never see death? How the Lord said, I, I have victory over death. The last thing to be conquered is death. <laughs> you know. There's, you know, victory over death. 
Oh, death wears thy sting. Don't you understand that? Uh, the Lord is coming back on ships to deliver from the wrath. Enter in the thou chambers. And when the when the uh, foolish virgins went off to buy the oil, then the bridegroom came and they entered up into the chambers. And it was too late for the ones that were still trying to seek knowledge. Don't you understand you being confused about what the MOTB is? Is a sign, is a good de detecting, detection, uh, uh, for lack of better words, that you could be a, of the unlearned, un the foolish versions, still seeking to buy oil. You got to know it by the time the Lord come back. Not be inconspicuously confused, man. So you're telling me all you got to do is die, right, physically, and you get the kingdom, man. Come on, man. It ain't that easy, beloved. <laughs> all right? You got to walk into Mashiach and drink the blood of the lamb, man. That's how you get everlasting life. That's how you get the kingdom. Not through uh, dying in your iniquity and taking the damn mark of the beast, but you're going to come back in reincarnation after taking the mark of the beast and coming to the kingdom. The Lord is not dealing with nonsense like that. He said the wicked shall be rooted out of the earth, man. Yeah, through death. What the scriptures tell you when you take it to MOTB is that, right? A smoke of torment is centered up forever and ever. Guess what? Even forever and ever can mean for a period of time. Because just the, by definition of forever can seem like a very long time. If I've been waiting for something for five minutes and it feels like it's taking forever, I'm not wrong with saying that. No rest day nor night. There's a judgment that's going to happen for those people that's going to last for a period of time. But the Lord is merciful towards Israel. We read in Isaiah 14. And ultimately, all Israel shall be saved in Romans 11. All Israel shall be saved. Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. I think he has an issue with all Israel being saved part. And he still isn't clear on what the MOTB is at the end of the day. If you are, just make the video. Nothing needs more to be said. Lord willing, this video is edifying for those who find it edifying. You know, this is why we make it. This is why we did it. Through the spirit, the MOTB is the C hit. You get that. If you take that. Or if the Lord allows you to take that, or if they force that on you, you were never part of your lack in the first place. We'll see you resurrected in the kingdom of heaven. That's how that will go. Shalom.